Welcome back to another video, I'm Tom Ainsco and today I'm going to show you how to change the format of your video content from landscape to portrait. This is a particularly useful trick when you're looking to create content for platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels and YouTube Shows. So let's cut the bladder and we'll jump straight in. Now there's probably a million and one ways to do this, but I'll show you my method and it requires the use of DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is a free to use video editor available for Windows, Mac and Linux that you can download just by following the link provided in the description below. Once you've downloaded DaVinci Resolve and started it up, we can create a fresh project just by clicking the new project button here. Give your project a name and click create. Now we'll be taken into our project where we can add our landscape footage. There's several ways to import your footage into the project, but the easiest method is to simply drag and drop your footage like so into the media pool here. Depending on the frame rate of your footage, DaVinci Resolve may prompt you to change the project frame rate in which you'll want to select change to prevent any strange syncing issues that may occur if your footage frame rate doesn't match the project frame rate. Once we have our footage in the project, we'll want to change our project resolution to a portrait format. To do this, we can select File and click Project Settings to view the main project settings. From here, we can tick the Use Vertical Resolution box to change the resolution of our project to a vertical format. Once we've checked that box, we can click Save. Next, we can jump into the Edit page at the bottom here, where we'll be able to create our vertical timeline for our footage. Again, there's a variety of ways to create timelines, but I'm just going to go with the easy method and simply drag my landscape footage into the empty timeline, which will automatically create a vertical timeline from my footage. If we scrub through our footage, we'll now see that our landscape content is now in a vertical format. However, we can see that the vertical section is only focused on the middle part of our landscape footage. Not to worry, we have some handy tools to adjust this. If we select our footage within the timeline, we can go up to the Inspector tab, where we have some video options to adjust things like zoom, position, and rotation on our footage. The one we'll be focusing on is the X position control. With this control, we can either move it left or right to get the perfect selection from our landscape footage. Once you're happy with the positioning of your footage, all we need to do is export it out into a suitable format. To do this, we can select the Deliver page at the bottom, and I'm going to go with a nice easy preset we can use within DaVinci Resolve to render our footage out. At the top here, we can scroll along to the right and select YouTube 1080p. Next, we can give our portrait export a new name, and we'll also want to choose an appropriate location for our export to be saved to. All we have left to do then is press the App to Render Queue button just here before pressing Render All here. DaVinci Resolve will start rendering out our newly adjusted portrait video and within a couple of minutes, you've just changed your landscape footage into a portrait format. If you're wondering what to do next with your portrait footage, then why don't you check out Videos? Videos is the online video creation software that crafts fully customised videos within minutes. Just select a video recipe, choose a style and customise your video with different colours, fonts, images and footage. Once you're all done, render it out and you have a complete video ready to be posted out to the world. It's that simple. You can try videos for free today just by following the link in the description box below. I hope you took some good value from this video and if you did, please do give it a like and why not hit that subscribe button if you're looking for more content creation tips and tricks. Leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see next and I'll be more than happy to deliver. Thanks very much for watching and as always, happy creating. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.